Hey guys, right, I put the carbs into the bike because I wanted to check to see if the throttle cable that I fitted the other day was actually going to be long enough to, to do the job that it needs to do. There's a throttle cable and it's not, it's about six inches short. So what I'm actually going to have to do is I have a uh, sleeving and cable here that I made, that I, uh, that I actually bought uh, a few years ago, which I had lying around. So I'm going to make, there's no nipples on either end of it, so I'm actually going to make the cable from that and that'll be plenty long enough for what I want. I'll also have enough left over to run the choke. Now the tab is broken off of the choke here, as you can see. One second, I'll focus that in for you. There you go. The tab is actually broken off the end of the choke. So I've also got to do something with that. Right, yesterday's job was the throttle cables, which are our cable, which is sorted. Today's job is the choke cable. And that's the choke cable now fitted. Um, as you can see, one second now, it works away quite nicely. That's the room. That's the remains of an oxygen oxyacetylene torch that was given to me. I said it'd be a perfect job for this. So I had to bore it all out and get it all uh, freed up. So I bent it up, as you can see, to match the throttle cable. So that's coming all the way through now. It's fed down inside here and all the way through. It's about six inches too long. But when the carburetors are fitted, I can actually adjust that and cut it and trim it to, to the proper size. So that's uh, been sort of one of the more sort of pain in the tail end jobs. But that's now done. So that's another one out of the way. Hi guys, a uh, quick video with regards to the update on the front wheel. Um, I decided not to go with the cover because the calipers were actually hitting the cover when it was finished. So I said I'd have to come up with another plan. So I decided to leave it as an open wheel. Um, I drilled a series of holes all around the edge, as you can see there, to give it a kind of a sporty look. I then coated it with edge primer, then underbody sealer, then copper, then black. And then rub the black off. The reason for the under sealer was, as you can see there, it gives it a nice kind of a textured finish. It makes it look old. Um, so that's the one second now. There's the the disc in play. Bear with me. And that's the tie on. So that's effectively what the what the wheel is going to look like now. So you'll have one completely open wheel, one completely closed wheel, and one with the side car with the mesh on it, okay? Right, I'm at the front wheel. Uh, first thing you'll notice is the tires on the wheel. Um, the reason for this is, I was worried that if I finished painting the wheel, the tire, uh, when it goes on the tire machine, it would end up chipping the paint. And as you can see around the edges there where I primed it yesterday, there's actually some of the paint to come off, so I'm glad I did that. Um, right, the the other thing is the, the filling of the panels. Um, to get the effect that I wanted, um, I filled the, filled the edges of the panels just to take the edges off them. But I didn't finish the fillers completely. There's, dun there's dents and there's humps and there's hollows on it, slightly ones. So when the whole thing is painted, they'll be painted two different colours. One colour will sit in the hollows, another, another one will sit on the rises. And when I rub it off down, it'll all blend in really nicely. So that's the reason for not quite finishing off smooth the fillers. Um, so I'm going to get on with this. Um, thanks to Kieran Welsh for fitting my tyres. Much appreciated, bud. Right. That's the front wheel painted. Um, it's done in a, an old sort of old style copper and black effect as you can see I've both sides done tires mounted everything's all sorted now uh, all I've left to do now later on today as you can see is a big hole in the middle the bearings need to be fitted and as you can see there's the disc I think it turned out bloody good actually I'm well happy with it so that's the um, that's the front wheel pretty much sorted. Like I said, bearings have to be done now later on today, and that's the wheel ready for mounting. It's painted and all now finished, ready to go. The wheel bearings done. You can probably see them inside there. And uh, right, so that's them sorted. I've done a small bit of detailing on the tire, just a little bit, just to sort of break up all the black. What I'm doing now is I am painting the discs. What this disc has had now is this disc has had a, a coat of the under sealer just a light coat it's had gold put on top of that small shot of copper and some black you now i'll rub the black down bring the copper and the and the brass back through what you can see here of this one don't know this is made the the black is the the under sealer has been done underneath the gold has now gone on top that's drying off and there's a couple of spots of copper here that's all i'm looking for is just a hint of copper on it that will now go black rub the whole lot down Bring back through the rub this black down bring back through the copper and the brass and then lacquer and that'll be it 
Right, I have the back wheel sorted. Um, as you can see, there's a new bearing gone in there. Um, this whole area here, the whole hub system, was absolutely filthy. Um, there was grit and crud and all sorts of rubbish inside there. These five holes correspond to this hub mechanism here. Um, that again was absolutely destroyed so that's all been properly cleaned up now then the pins as you see them pins will be greased because they slide they slide in and out of these holes and the gearing part in the middle will also be will also be properly greased um i've done the o-ring as well there's an o-ring at the back there that's been sorted so that's the back wheel in terms of mechanically sorted now all i've got to do the whole outside of the wheel has got to be rubbed down there's bits of grit here and there but that doesn't matter because it actually fits in with what i wanted to do it'll show up in the detail afterwards there's copper paint underneath that, which will be brought back up and it'll be nicely finished. Okay, so that's it now, guys. That's the that's all I have for now. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.